The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. The wildfire threat is going to be high through tomorrow. Why? Well, there are several reasons. For one, and we talked about this uh, a lot today, is the wind tomorrow. It's going to be pretty windy outside. We'll talk about the details of those uh, wind gusts coming up here in a second. We're also in a drought. Many of us right now in a drought, especially if you're watching in areas along and north of Highway 460. As a matter of fact, it's Roanoke's driest year since 2007. In addition to that, we have falling foliage. There are leaves on the ground and that provides more fuel for these fires to spread rapidly. Now, as far as peak wind gusts here for the next three days, you need to know that on Wednesday we're going to have gusts 20 to 40 miles per hour. Then Thursday into Friday, those winds are really going to calm down in earnest. So therein lies some good news. We're not going to have a, a ton of wind here Thursday and Friday. But tomorrow again, I stressed you, it's going to be blustery out there. Wind speed by month. We are now uh, going into the month of November and notice that these bars are getting higher and higher going from November and December and January into February and into March. We are now entering the windiest time of the year. OK, we usually have less wind in the summer and more wind in the winter. So to have more wind in the forecast here is kind of to be expected. I want to show you the local view here on the radar and friends. You'll notice that it is very, very quiet here in the Commonwealth. However, it is not all that quiet in areas just to the north and to the west of us. You'll notice that even up towards West Virginia, Pocahontas, Greenbrier counties in West Virginia seeing some snow right now because of the fact that we've got some wraparound moisture or lake effect snow coming in from the Great Lakes going south into the Mountaineer State. Now, Highland, Bath, Giles, Bland counties, you may see some flurries tonight, but most of these bona fide snow showers are going to stay towards the west slopes of West Virginia, as they are indeed moving to the south and to the east. I want to show you Future Tracker. This is around midnight, and Future Tracker's nailing where these snow showers are going to be. They're going to mainly be on, in areas about 2,500 feet or higher in West Virginia. Those snow showers along the west slopes will dissipate here late tonight into tomorrow morning and Wednesday will be a day where we are all mainly sunny. OK, upslope snow machine turns itself off and we're all going to see uh, the return of sunshine heading into Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be a very bright sunny day, but don't be fooled by that sun because <laughs> it's going to be really chilly outside tomorrow night. Skies are mainly clear. What we're tracking here? Well, high pressure. That's what we're tracking and that's going to be with us here all the way through the weekend. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all five of those days are going to be dry for us. We're going to have a whole lot of sunshine to enjoy most of those days as well. And yes, afternoon highs by the weekend going to climb into the 60s and even some 70s. So a nice moderating trend is in the forecast for us here by late week into the weekend. But right now it's pretty chilly out there. 37 in Withville, 34 in Hot Springs, 38 Covington, also in Lynchburg, upper 30s in Danville and in South Boston. It's even colder northwest in the 20s in Bismarck, 30 Kansas City, 32 in Chicago. So we are in good company. And again, I stress to you, freeze warning in effect tonight. Freeze warning probably going to be in effect Wednesday night again. But tonight there's not going to be a ton of frost because the winds are going to be on the uptick. Tomorrow night, there's going to be a lot of frost around because we're going to a be very cold and b we're not going to have a ton of wind around. But we've talked about it. Wind chills tonight going to fall into the single digits, teens and 20s. Bundle up freeze warning in effect. Skies clear out overnight lows, actual air temperatures 25 to 33 tomorrow. Cool, dry, mostly sunny highs tomorrow. 40s and lower 50s. Highest elevations may fail to get out of the 30s. Extended forecast 48 Wednesday, 56 Thursday, 65 Friday, 70 Saturday, Sunday, lower 60s one week from today. So warming up this weekend, dry Wednesday through Sunday. There's a chance for a little more rain here by early next week. All right, friends, for the month of October, of course, today's Halloween. We close the book on October with this result. Today we forecast 52. The actual high was 51, $10 in the pot, $980 raised for center in the square.